131 Commando Squadron Royal Engineers is an Army Reserve unit, and part of 24 Commando Regiment Royal Engineers. It provides engineering support to three Commando Brigade Royal Marines three CDOBDE ERM, and is the largest Army Reserve Commando unit. The squadron has deployed worldwide to provide combat engineer support to three CDOBDE ERM, often deploying in small sub-units. 131 was first raised in 1947 as an airborne engineer regiment, and reached a strength of over 1,000 trained parachute engineers by the early 1960s. Between 1 April 1978 and 1 October 2015, the unit was an independent commando squadron under operational command of HQ-3 CDOBDE ERM. On 2 October 2015, it formally became the 3rd Squadron of 24 Commando Engineer Regiment. History Topic: 1940s Airborne Forces Role With the reformation of the Territorial Army in 1947, the unit was raised as 131 Airborne Engineer Regiment in support of 16th Airborne Division. The division, taking its number from the wartime 1st and 6th Airborne Divisions, was commanded at first by Major General Roy Urquhart, who had led 1st Airborne Divian at Arnhem in 1944, and consisted of three TA parachute brigades 44, 45 and 46 parachute brigades, each of three parachute battalions. With all volunteers going through P Company to gain their Red Berets and earning their parachute wings at RAF Abingdon, the regiment provided a squadron of parachute engineers to support each brigade, 299 Airborne Field, Squadron in Hull, 300 Airborne Field, Squadron in Liverpool, later Glasgow, and 301 Airborne Field, Squadron in Croydon. The regimental headquarters was in Pont Street in Knightsbridge, with 302 Airborne Field Park, squadron based in Hendon. Manning a regiment of this size presented no problems, with many recently demobilized World War II soldiers, including many former paratroopers, willing to join the regiment. Indeed, it was one of the fullest of all units within the brigade. Experienced leadership was also readily available. 299 Squadron was raised by Major George Widowson, previously of the Green Howards, who had fought at Arnhem as second in command of the decimated 10th Battalion the Parachute Regiment, whilst at Surrey-based 301 Squadron Major Beverly Holloway became officer commanding and later regimental second in command. His World War II service included parachuting into Normandy on D-Day as a troop commander with 3rd Parachute Squadron Re. Topic: 1950s. Territorial Army reorganizations took place in 1956, with 16 Airborne Division being disbanded and replaced by a single TA Parachute Brigade, 44 Independent Parachute Brigade Group. 131 Regiment was sufficiently well established to ensure that it was retained in size but redesignated as 131 Parachute Engineer Regiment, with all squadron titles replacing the term airborne with parachute. RHQ moved half a mile down the road to the Duke of York's headquarters in the King's Road, co located with Brigade Headquarters. Troop locations evolved through the 1950s too, with 301 Squadron moving to Guilford and gaining a Birmingham-based troop as a result of the demise of 18th Battalion the Parachute Regiment. The Liverpool-based troop also went on to become part of 299 Squadron, whilst 300 Squadron, gained troops in Edinburgh and Falkirk to become wholly Scottish. One final change saw 302 Squadron move from Hendon to nearby Kingsbury, with its Luton based plant troop also relocating to Kingsbury, in 1959. 1960s 
In the early 1960s, 131 fielded over 1,000 trained parachute engineers and was believed to have the largest number of men earning their annual bounty in the whole of the Territorial Army. Many of the unit's members were also members of the Emergency Reserve, giving them a higher call-out obligation. Basic training was only beginning to be introduced because, up until this time, almost all unit members were either ex-regulars, ex-WW2 volunteers or ex-national servicemen. Throughout this period of the regiment's existence, squadron-sized detachments served their annual camps in many overseas theaters, carrying out close support and construction engineer tasks as well as parachuting with United States, Canadian, French and Italian forces. A major regimental event during the 1960s was Exercise Sea Splash, during which its soldiers would parachute into the harbour in St. Peter Port in Guernsey, awaited by a fleet of small boats and cheering islanders. 131's first honorary colonel, Lt. Gen. Sir Philip Neem V.C., K.B.E., C.B., D.S.O., had initiated the regiment's involvement with the island when he served as its governor after the war, and the parachute foray was always treated as a celebration of the liberation from German control in 1945. In 1965, the bulk of the regiment carried out its annual camp in Aden Protectorate and in 1966 elements of the regiment deployed to the country again. During the 1965 deployment X Jockey Club on the night of the 12th of April 300 parachute squadron was attacked by guerrillas whilst working with 24 field squadron on the construction of the Dalla Road at Al Mila near the Yemen frontier. Squadron Sergeant Major John Lonergan of 300 Squadron and Sergeant Atfield, the pay sergeant of 24 Field Squadron, were both killed during the action and are buried at the Ma'ala Cemetery, now within the Republic of Yemen. The regimental medical officer, who risked his life to attend to those who had been wounded and to rescue two badly injured men caught out in the open, was awarded the MBE for gallantry. The incident became known as the Battle of Dalla. 131 Commando Squadron Royal Engineers Base is named Lonergan Lines in honor of SSM Lonergan, the second major post-war reorganization of the TA in 1967 saw the regiment reduced to a single independent squadron of 250 personnel on 1 April 1967. 131 Independent Parachute Squadron Royal Engineers volunteers maintained its role in support of the three parachute battalions of 44 Parachute Brigade volunteers. Squadron headquarters and the support troop was based in Kingsbury in London, with troops in Birmingham, Hull and Grangemouth. Troops took the names of the squadrons they had replaced, with 299 troop in Hull, 300 troop in Grangemouth, 301 troop in Birmingham and 302 troop, support troop in Kingsbury. Topic: 1970s The three field troops each continued to support a TA parachute battalion, with 299 troop linked to the 4th volunteer battalion the Parachute Regiment, 300 troop to the 15th Scottish volunteer battalion and 301 troop to the 10th volunteer battalion. Travel far and wide, with associated opportunities for engineer support, construction and parachuting continued as ever. At times, troops carried out annual camps in direct support of their battalions, such as 299's 1972 camp with four para in Jamaica, whilst on other occasions the squadron exercised as a whole. In 1973, the squadron undertook exercise sacristan in the United Arab Emirates, which saw 180 members of the squadron deploy for between two and six weeks, carrying out a variety of construction tasks and desert training exercises. Close ties with nine independent parachute squadron RE, then based at Church Crookham, also continued throughout the period. On the 28th of September 1975, during Exercise Trent Chase, while the squadron was conducting its annual watermanship-based section competition on the River Trent in Nottinghamshire, an assault boat containing 11 sappers of 300 troop was swept over the Cromwell Weir near Newark. 
Ten of the eleven men were drowned, including two brothers, Sapper Stewart and Peter Evenden. After the military funerals, which took place in various parishes around Scotland, a memorial service was held at the site of the accident, and a stone of Scottish granite bearing the names of those killed was laid in a small commemorative garden close to the loch. Another memorial was established near Grangemouth, at Falkirk Cemetery, and the men are also commemorated at the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire. A bridge over the river to Skag was built in their memory in 1996 at to Skag near Applecross in Wester Ross. Topic 1978 Commando Roll. In 1977, reductions in the regular and TA airborne forces were announced, and on the 31st of March 1978. 44 Parachute Brigade volunteers was disbanded in a parade at Altcar Ranges, near Liverpool. Although the three parachute battalions were retained, support arms and services were to be disbanded. On 1 April 1978, the squadron was accepted into the order of battle of three Commando Brigade Royal Marines. Exchanging maroon berets for green, but retaining a significant parachute capability across its four locations, it was renamed 131 Independent Commando Squadron Royal Engineers Volunteers. Topic: 1980s and 1990s. In 1982, it was decided to raise a field troop in Plymouth to capitalize on the significant number of ex-regular commando trained personnel living in the area and the fact that 131's new sister squadron, 59 Independent Commando Squadron RE, was based within the town at Crownhill Fort later Seton Barracks. This sub-unit was to become the new 300 troop, but whilst Grangemouth and Plymouth were both on the squadron's order of battle, Plymouth used the old support troop number, 302 troop, for a year. Recruiting at Plymouth was buoyant, and the then permanent staff instructor was awarded the British Empire Medal for his leadership in helping to establish the new troop. Finally, in 1983, at a ceremony in Grangemouth, the Scottish 300 troop was re-rolled as a Royal Marines Reserve Assault Engineer troop, and Plymouth took on the 300 troop title. 21st century 2001's annual training exercise took place in Oman ex -Safe Saria, setting the tone for more than a decade of operational activity by the squadron in the Middle East and Afghanistan. Fourteen personnel mobilized for service in Afghanistan with three CDO BDE IRM the following year Op Jakana. The squadron was compulsorily mobilized in January 2003 and deployed in Iraq as part of Operation Telic 1, returning to the UK in May. A significant proportion of the unit was mobilized for a second time in autumn 2006 for service in Helmand Province in Afghanistan. Following the end of this deployment in spring 2007, the squadron has supported a further nine tours of the province. Tasks and responsibilities were wide and varied as befits the extensive range of skills held within the unit, ranging from reconstruction advice through to close support engineering by sections embedded within Royal Marines rifle companies. Small teams also deployed to Iraq on Operation Telic 4 in 2004 fifths and to the Bagh region of Pakistan during humanitarian operations op Maturin. following the Kashmir earthquake in 2005. During 2006, the squadron effectively split in two to form 299 Parachute Squadron, centered on the very strongly recruited Hull based 299 troop, whilst retaining the three other locations within 131 and growing a new troop in Bath, 302 troop. Topic 2015 On 2 October 2015, 131 formally became the 3rd Squadron of 24 Commando Engineer Regiment. 
now subordinated to 24's regimental headquarters at Royal Marines Base Shivana, the squadron retained the three previous field troop locations and squadron headquarters at Kingsbury. Topic: Current role. As a commando unit, the majority of the squadron's personnel have completed the Reserve Forces Commando course, run by the Royal Marines at the Commando Training Center at Limpstone. This demanding course is the foundation for all further training. As an engineer unit, the squadron trains for a variety of tasks from demolitions to construction. Topic. Structure. The squadron consists of four troops based in the following locations around the UK. Headquarters and Support Troop, Kingsbury in North West London, recruiting from London and the South East. 300 Troop, Plymouth, recruiting from Devon and Cornwall. 301 Troop, Sheldon in Birmingham. 302 Troop, Bath, recruiting from Bristol, Bath, South Wales and the M4, M5 Corridor Shell based 299 Troop, which was part of 131 until 2007, later become the heart of the reformed 299 Parachute Squadron. Topic. See also British Army Royal Engineers 3 Commando Brigade